Yeah. Yeah. But is that that's some, seen as an enabling? Yeah, we we actually think. Yeah, there's two there's two there's two relevant pieces. Quantum computing has been on has been it, like artificial intelligence is something that's been theorized for a long time, and there are um, experiments going on of of um, you know transistors that are quantum based and things that have, have been done, and they're starting to play around with systems that can do with it. But you know we're years and years away from that. The um, it'll it'll turn the programming completely upside down. The other one we're starting, you know, all computers today are based on this concept. They're called binary systems. So everything's a zero or a one, and then everything's kind of built up in layers from there. Um, there is a new um, classification of computing called synaptic computing, where we're trying to build computers based on things that have more than two states, right? Um, and trying to mimic it more on the way the synapses work uh, in the human brain, as opposed to uh, just an electron being on, you know, positive or negative. On a machine, but those are again, those are early re early stage research kind of projects. All right, okay. In the back. What's the greatest <laughs> technological impasse for Watson right now? Um, there are many, <laughs> <laughs> many things we're working on. I have uh, I have a couple hundred people working on this um, all day long, every day. the 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 biggest issue is how can you um, continually update the knowledge base while you're using it, right? So it's, you know, being able to walk and chew gum at the same time kind of thing. Um, it's really good at, you know, you can build the knowledge base. The, the way it works is you build the knowledge base and then you test it, you put it through exams, right? And then if you don't like the way the exams are, you have to go back and repeat the course, right? And you see so you go through this iterative learning process um, and then you have this operational system that then dynamically adapts and learns as it goes forward. But that first learning phase is a long, Time. And what we're really focused on right now is how to take that long time and make it shorter so that we can get into new spaces and new domains. And that's really one of the hardest problems we're trying to solve. So that's a solvable problem. That's not a, you know, we don't have to, uh, you know, come up with major new inventions for that. Um, traditional uh, programming techniques can be used, but it is coming up with how do you, how do you do that? How do you, you know, build the reliable knowledge base faster, All right? And if we can do that, we can get into more domains uh, in a much faster way. Um, it's going to be a little bit more of a crass question, but how do you make money? Um, well, many different ways. Um, the uh, we sell computers, we sell clouds, we sell um, uh, you know the, the know-how behind these. We sell intellectual property. Um, you know things like the call center solution. We'll sell that to companies that do call centers. Right. Um, for medicine, we're working on that constantly with the combination of the doctors, the insurance companies, the um, and us 